depths of pride inside it pains me with the bitterness I loathe for the future tributes at all sunny green. Hey! Whoa! Hey! What the hell? What happened to your face? Weightlifting accident? That sounds like bullshit. Why'd you run by my house? Our little conversation get you upset last night? Hey, this is my route, okay? Just back off. This is my neighborhood. You just run by my house. I like to run by myself, okay? Me too. Hey, I like to run alone. Will you stop, okay? What? I'm running here. Me too. Well, then why don't you run somewhere else? There's a fucking tons of roads to run in. What are you trying to do? I like this road. This is my neighborhood. Oh, come on, please. Calm down, crazy. Why are you... What the fuck? I'm married! So am I! What the fuck are you doing? Your husband's dead! Where's your wife? You're crazy! I'm not the one that just got out of that hospital in Baltimore. I'm not the big slut! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was a big slut, but I'm not anymore. There's always gonna be a part of me that's sloppy and dirty, but I like that with all the other parts of myself. Can you say the same about yourself, fucker? Can you forgive? Are you any good at that? You seem to have trouble last night. Let me just set the record straight about last night. Hurting my mother was a mistake, and I hate myself for it, and I hate my illness, and I want to control it. My father, on the other hand, had no trouble slapping the shit out of me last night, which I did not return because I could have killed him, and I didn't. He's 65 years old. You don't think I could have beat the shit out of him? I mean... You were scared for your mother, and you hurt him as well. Yes, last night was a mess. Okay, and I think he probably just tried to do his best. Pat, you have to have a strategy. I told you earlier. You need to recognize these feelings coming to you. Otherwise, you will be sent back to Baltimore. So when you get these feelings, you need to get to a quieter place with peace with yourself, however you can. Yeah, but that's easier said than done. You have to do it. You have no choice. Excelsior. Yeah, Excelsior. Listen, I have a letter I want you to give Nikki, okay? No. Why? Because you have a restraining order. What good are you, man? Why did you have this overwhelming urgency to see your wedding video last night? Oh, I don't know, because I'm married and I haven't seen my wife in eight and a half months. Maybe you think that Nikki is not around and Tiffany is it.